Christians. You saw what happened at our friend Joel Osteen's church. Major drama at Lakewood Church today as Joel Osteen's service was disrupted by abortion rights activists. Two women stripped down to their underwear right in the middle of the congregation, but they had a message. Take a look. It's my body, my choice. Read my chapter four, and we'll wait just one moment here, but God is good, and he's on the throne, and he's in control, so. What's happening here is they're actually violating. Bruce Lawn. Just got back from a father-son trip in South Florida and I had an amazing time with my seven-year-old Levi. And while I was there, I was able to sneak in a few podcast appearances, most notably uh, Valuetainment's show with my buddy Adam Sauce about relationships and money. And boy, did he throw a monkey wrench in the equation. My homegirl, Rebecca Barrett, was on there. She's been on the channel. She's amazing. And there was a wife, mother, only fans model who was on there as well. And we discussed our OnlyFans models, wifey material. Really interesting conversation. I recommend you check out the whole thing, but viewer discretion is advised, fellas, especially if those thoughts can cause you to check out stuff you shouldn't be checking out. But anyway, I wanted to play this clip from the conversation where we got into the viral Joel Osteen moment that just happened at Lakewood Church. Check it out. Uh, Rolo Tomasi, been on the show, friend of the show. He says, women's only real agency in life is their sexuality. It's why they always get naked when they want <laughs> attention. Rolo's a savage, man. Hashtag, Rolo's they always savage. get there's a, naked. There's some things we disagree on, but when it comes to this kind of stuff, I think he nails it. Yeah. Really? I think he mm -hmm. nails Explain it. Explain why. Yeah, well, one, something that's, what's happening here is they're actually violating the FACE Act. Cor I wanted to yeah. say that, too. So FACE Act is... Pro-life protesters can't go into an abortion mm -hmm. clinic and pro-pro activists can't go into a church mm -hmm. or a mosque or a uh, religious, religious the religious face yes. act. The face act. Yes. So mm -hmm. what they're doing here is they're violating something that they can get sued and arrested for. Yes. And, and it's stupid. Like, it's actually stupid. Second of all, they go to Joel Osteen's church. <laughs> like... Pretty we don't purpose. take Joel Osteen seriously. Like, the pro-life community doesn't take him seriously. The Christian community doesn't take him seriously. Really? Yeah. This is the... I thought he's, like, the biggest evangelist in the world. Motivational no. speaker. Yeah. yeah. Motivational speaker. I don't even think he speaker. calls himself an evangelist or a pastor, right? Well, so, he's at a church, Ruslan. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah no, I, I don't think they call it a church either. Uh, really? I don't know. I'm, I'm, but he definitely doesn't refer to himself as a pastor. Really? Yeah. Mm. So, okay. I think you're... This is... So, you're saying Joel Osteen, not to sidetrack, that he's kind of like a... Sham? Not a sh He's a motivational speaker. Yeah, he's not at someone... a church in front of thousands of people. I don't even think there's overlap with them in the pro life conversation. You know, so they did this for attention. Like they did this to like mm -hmm. they could have pulled up to a church that actually like engages in the in these things Correct. and they just went to the biggest church they could find because they wanted attention. So and I don't think this does anything to their cause. Absolutely. Yeah. Really? I don't think, I don't I don't think this think persuades so. anyone. We're talking about it now. Are oh, you yeah. saying that the actual uh, this is this doesn't win anyone happen. over to be like, Yeah, women should have well, more yeah. and kill more babies. Wow. But this is feminism one oh one. Right. Okay. Right? These are the tactics that they use. And they'll say, oh, uh, it's my body, my choice. I can be a sex worker if I want to. But then literally in the same sentence, shame another woman for wanting traditional values. And this is this is literally textbook feminism 101. Mm -hmm. This is what they teach you. Make a yeah. make a scene, literally take off your clothes in order to get attention because that's the only way your voice is going to be heard. And the sad part is they are probably ignorant of the fact that the vast majority of pro-life advocates are women, mm -hmm. that the rights people are fighting for, the most European nations have way more restrictive exactly. limits than we do. Mississippi, 16-week ban, uh, Florida, 15-week ban, Italy, Spain, 12-week ban, 10-week ban. Mm -hmm. So the entire conversation is just utterly goofy. In terms I didn't of know that. You're saying that... that, that you're saying Europe, Europe. the EU has, has more restrictive yes. laws Absolutely. on abortion Absolutely. than we do in the red states in America. Correct. We're one of the seven nations that has elective abortion past 20 weeks. Mm -hmm. One of seven nations worldwide mm -hmm. that has So that. worldwide, what's the common denominator there? What do you, what do you mean? The meaning like you said 10 weeks, 8 weeks, 12 weeks? It's about 12 weeks. Because yeah. I've never had a period. You know, I don't yeah. plan on having <laughs> anyone soon. Weeks. I'm not going to get that woke and transgender. Yeah. However... 12 weeks some, is, some women don't even know they're pregnant for four to 
six well, weeks. We, right? have modern, yeah. we have modern medicine. I, I don't think we can blame. I don't think we can use that argument anymore. Literally, a pregnancy test is as cheap as a dollar. You go to the dollar store, you get a pregnancy test. There's actually Talk no... Talk about save that money. Holy crap. Exactly. Dollar? Yeah. Not accurate, wonder. but it is a dollar. <laughs> it is a dollar. And then you can go on Amazon and buy a whole pack and you can figure out your ovulation. There's literally no reason why we can't understand what our bodies are doing. I will say that it is because modern birth control is... It has... Con- completely messed up the hormones in a mm-hmm. woman's body and so therefore if you pretend and if you if your if your body imitates pregnancy every month how are you supposed to know mm. and so we play these games right feminist oh God, this is what i love so much women play these games right they say oh i'm gonna have sex with whoever i want mm-hmm. but you don't want to deal with the consequences mm. of your actions mm. right it takes two to have sex. Um, let, let's give a biology lesson. It takes two to have sex. The sperm enters the... Back to Rolo. I'm sure he'll take this clip and chop it up, but he talks about this hypergamy. They get pregnant by a baller stud. They're going to have the baby. They get Absolutely. pregnant by their broke boyfriend loser. Absolutely. And then let's talk about the rights. We talk about uh, my body, my choice, right? What about the choice of the man who didn't know mm-hmm. that one, you carried that pregnancy to term, mm-hmm. and then you show up 10 months at his door saying knock knock you owe me child support yeah he's like for the what? for 18 years of his life yeah. his it, because the courts will always side with the mm. woman 18 what does kanye say 18 years yeah. 18, 18 years, years. And on the 18th birthday they found out was his. His. this just shows i mean i think how indoctrinated we've become in some of this stuff mm. right like i think you laid it out perfectly biology just basic it's basic basic biology. basic biology you know don't objectify me but i could sleep with whoever i want to sleep with like mm. it, it, it's Double so many contradictions my body my choice after we just mandated right like oh, the, oh shoot i wasn't supposed to say that yeah. uh, so what do you guys think were my words about joel osteen too harsh do you take him seriously do you think the pro-life movement takes him seriously and do you think the tactics exhibited here are wise for attempting to win someone over i'm specifically talking about the young ladies that did the entire spectacle shindig and how about joel osteen keeping his composure here but God is good and he's on the throne and he's in control. So, with how he was just smooth in transitioning with that, I want to hear from you guys. You guys saw that in the intro. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. And if you want to watch the full interview, viewer discretion is advised. You can click here. Or if you want to check out Joe Rogan potentially changing his mind about this entire conversation, you could check this out here. I'll see you over there. All right. Peace.